Let me ask you a question that most men think about but rarely say out loud. What actually happens to your body and your mind if you ejaculate every single day? Is it the ultimate stress reliever or could it be secretly draining your reserves over time? Could it boost your physical performance and confidence or create unexpected issues in the bedroom? If you've ever wondered about this, and trust me, almost every man has, you are not alone. This question comes up all the time in my clinic, shrouded in myths, whispers, and even a little bit of guilt. But this topic is absolutely central to men's health, vitality, and quality of life. Today, we're breaking that silence. I'm Dr. Navia, a board-certified urologist with over seven years of experience specializing in men's sexual and overall wellness. My mission is to give you the honest, science-backed truth without the shame or guesswork. In this video, I'm gonna lay out the full picture, the five surprising ways daily ejaculation can actually benefit your health, and just as important, the five potential drawbacks you need to be aware of. By the end, you'll have the clarity to know exactly what's right for your body, your goals, and your life. But first, let's do a quick check-in. Tell me in the comments, where in the world are you watching from today? I love seeing this community of informed men grow globally. And while you're down there, hit that like button and subscribe. We talk honestly about men's health topics that most people avoid every single week. Let's clear up the biggest misconception right away. The universal answer you're looking for, it doesn't exist. Ejaculating daily isn't a medical cure-all and it isn't automatically harmful. The truth is much more nuanced. It depends entirely on the context. It depends on why you're doing it, how you're doing it, and most crucially, what impact it's having on your body and your mood the next day. For some men, a daily release is a fantastic way to reset they report better sleep, lower stress, and a real boost in confidence. For others, that same frequency can subtly start to dull their desire, create fatigue, or even lead to unexpected performance issues. The reality isn't a strict rule. It's about self-awareness, the unique chemistry of your biology, and the stage of life you're in. If you felt confused or unsure about this, please know that it's not because you're lacking knowledge. It's because for too long, men were just never given a clear, reliable education about how their bodies truly function when it comes to sexual health. That's precisely why I became a urologist and why, after seven years of clinical practice, I've dedicated myself to simplifying complex science into practical, everyday advice. Think of this video not as a lecture, but as a conversation between doctor and friend. My only goal is to help you understand the beautiful, complex machinery of your body so you can make informed choices, free from old myths or fear. Ready to dive into the science? Let's start with the powerful upside. Benefit one, the natural mood reset. Ever wonder why you feel so incredibly relaxed almost instantly afterward? That calm isn't just a psychological trick. Biologically, when you ejaculate, your brain floods your system with a powerful cocktail of neurochemicals. We're talking about endorphins, your body's natural pain and stress killers, oxytocin, the bonding and trust hormone, and a spike in prolactin, which signals your body to relax. This release acts like a major reset button for your entire nervous system. Emotionally, it provides a reliable outlet for tension, helping to calm free-floating anxiety and lighten your mood. It's a tool for mental grounding. Practically, less tension means less snapping at loved ones, less internal stress bottled up, and a noticeable boost in day-to-day -day resilience. It becomes a consistent, natural support for your mental clarity. Benefit 2 the sleep aid hormone rush. Do you struggle with racing thoughts when your head hits the pillow? For many men, daily release can be a built-in sleep strategy. Biologically, remember that prolactin we just talked about? Its job is to induce feelings of satiation and promote sleep. Combine that with the drop in stress hormones thanks to the endorphins, and you've created an ideal chemical environment for rest. Emotionally, it offers real relief from the restlessness and constant on switch of your mind, translating into a feeling of deep comfort. Practically, this means falling asleep faster and staying asleep longer, which directly translates to better recovery, sharper focus, and significantly more energy to tackle the next day. Benefit three, the internal vascular workout. Orgasm isn't just something that happens in your brain. It's a full body cardiovascular event. Biologically, during arousal and climax, your blood vessels dilate, vasodilation, 
your heart rate increases, and circulation ramps up throughout your body. Benefit four, prostate health and flushing. This is perhaps the most compelling finding in the research, and it's about one of men's biggest health concerns, the prostate. Biologically, a landmark Harvard study following over 30,000 men for two decades found that men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month, that's roughly daily, had a measurably lower risk of prostate cancer. The theory is compelling. Ejaculation helps to literally flush out the prostate gland, removing old cells, chemical buildups, and inflammatory agents that could contribute to cancer risk over time. Emotionally, it offers tangible reassurance about one of the most common and feared health threats men face. Practically, while it's certainly not a substitute for regular urological checkups, it does suggest that regular sexual activity is a positive, proactive player in protecting your prostate. Benefit five, a quiet immune system boost. Here's a bonus you likely didn't expect, tied directly to your body's defenses. Biologically, studies have shown that sexual arousal and orgasm can slightly increase levels of an antibody called immunoglobulin, AIGA. This is one of your body's frontline defenses against common colds, viruses, and bacteria. You're getting a subtle immune support benefit. Emotionally, lower stress already strengthens immunity. This just provides extra peace of mind. Practically, it confirms that your sexual health is completely integrated into your overall wellness. It's not a separate category. Now, as a doctor, I have to be completely honest with you. The line between a healthy habit and a subtle problem is thin. For some men, the daily rhythm can backfire. Here are the five biggest drawbacks to watch out for. Drawback one, the compulsive trap. There's a world of difference between choosing an action and feeling controlled by it. Biologically, if daily release becomes something you have to do, regardless of time, place, or focus, you might be veering into compulsive territory. This can subtly rewire your brain's reward system, making it less responsive to other natural pleasures. Emotionally, compulsion drains focus and, crucially, creates feelings of guilt, shame, and a loss of personal agency. The key question to ask yourself is, am I choosing this or is it choosing me? Practically, it can quickly interfere with work, damage relationships, and drain the very energy you were hoping to preserve. Drawback two, using it as an emotional crutch. We all deal with stress, boredom, loneliness, or a tough day at work. But if ejaculation becomes your only tool for coping, you're missing a vital opportunity. Biologically, you create a dependency on one single, powerful neurochemical pathway for relief, neglecting the development of others. Emotionally, it prevents real emotional healing and growth. It masks deeper needs that could be better addressed through things like exercise, connection with friends, therapy, or simply journaling. Practically, it keeps men from building a diverse, resilient set of coping strategies. It should be one tool in your toolkit, not the entire workshop. Drawback three, fertility concerns, if trying to conceive. If you're not trying to have children, feel free to skip this point. But if you are, frequency matters. Biologically, daily ejaculation can lower sperm concentration. Sperm need time to mature and replenish. Usually, that sweet spot is about 48 to 72 hours. Emotionally, this can be a significant source of stress for couples actively trying to conceive. Practically, if fertility is the goal, spacing out ejaculations every two to three days during the fertile window is a proven strategy to optimize concentration and improve chances. It's about strategy, not abstinence. Drawback four, the blunted reward system. Have you noticed things feeling less intense or maybe less motivating. Paradoxically, too much of a good thing can dampen your sensitivity. Biologically, your brain adapts to the constant stimulus, essentially lowering the volume on that powerful dopamine-fueled reward. Sensitivity can decrease. Emotionally, this can create a flat, unmotivated feeling or a kind of emotional meh. You might notice a reduction in spontaneous desire. Practically, the fix is simple and powerful. Short breaks even just a few days can reset your entire system, restoring sensitivity and bringing back the spark and intensity you miss. Drawback five, performance issues due to sprint mode. This is a critical point for men in relationships. If your daily release is always quick, rushed, or hurried stimulation, your body learns the wrong lesson. Biologically, your nervous system adapts to a sprint mode. Over time, 
This conditioning can contribute to or worsen premature ejaculation or create performance anxiety with a partner because your body is trained for speed, not rhythm. Emotionally, this creates frustration and undermines confidence in the bedroom, the opposite of what you want. Practically, the fix is to slow down, practice edging, mindful breathing, or simple non-ejaculatory intimacy. You need to train your body for endurance and connection, not just a quick release. So what's the bottom line from the urologist's perspective? Daily ejaculation is neither a sin nor a miracle cure. The key is self-awareness. Ask yourself, why am I doing this? Stress relief, pleasure, connection, or a feeling of compulsion? How is it affecting me? Am I sleeping better, feeling confident, or noticing fatigue, a lack of desire, or guilt? Does it fit my goals? Am I trying to conceive? Do I want to feel more connected to my partner? Pay attention. Track your energy, your mood, and your libido for one week. Experiment. Try daily for a week, then try spacing it out to every other day for a week. See what genuinely feels best for your unique system. Balance. Make sexual release one healthy tool in a large wellness toolkit, not the only one. Communicate. If you have a partner, talk about what you are learning and what you need. Listen to your body. Never ignore changes in erection quality, pain, or prostate health. Those deserve a direct medical evaluation. If you've carried shame, confusion, or fear around this topic, you are not alone. Sexual health is simply a part of human health. It doesn't make you weak, weird, or broken to ask these questions. In fact, it makes you wise. Because the more you understand your body, the more freedom, comfort, and dignity you gain in your daily life. Here is the empowering truth. You have the power to adjust. Small, conscious changes, whether adding a mindful break, slowing down the act itself, or using intimacy as a source of connection instead of escape, can give you back massive energy, confidence, and control. Age is not the end of vitality. Whether you are 30, 50, or 70, your body is adaptable, your health can improve, and your confidence can absolutely grow. Keep learning, keep listening to your body, and keep building the kind of life that gives you comfort, freedom, and strength. I'm Dr. Navia. Thank you for spending this important time with me. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more Honest Men's Health content each week, and share your thoughts in the comments. I read them all, and this community means the world to me. Remember, your body is worth understanding, your health is worth protecting, and your vitality is worth fighting for. Take care of yourself, you deserve it.